I never thought that it will again happen in Turkey. During the last Turkish coup in 1980, this man, who asked to only be identified by his first name, Burke, was a 12-year-old living in Istanbul. Sometimes fights and um, uh, you hear gunshots at nighttime. Now it's deja vu, except this time he's in Davis while his wife and kids vacation in Turkey, a major concern. Oh, it is because, um, you know, these things can turn upside down at a moment's notice. There is an attempted military coup underway. Erdogan Hazar finds himself in a similar situation. He's stuck watching the news and running his Turkish restaurant in Rockland while his wife and three daughters hunker down during their stay in Turkey. Everybody is now kind of stuck into the houses, into the hotels, into their, their own places. Maybe, to be honest, she can maybe come early or maybe she come late. At least he's been able to make contact. Dyla Keller, a Turkish-American citizen living in Sacramento, is still trying to get in touch with relatives. I've called. The lines are, are disconnected. They're saying that we cannot call into this country at the time. These Turks, now living abroad, have mixed feelings on what the best outcome should be for their home country. I'm personally okay with the military going in. It needs to be done in a uh, the votes on the uh, in the boxes. It could be a good way for him to get out of the power. Despite their differences, I'll hope peace and ultimately democracy prevail. I also message on social media with a UC Davis student now living in Ankara. She described the scene as very scary, saying she could hear fighter jets flying right overhead and what sounded like bombs going off near her area. Wow.